Well, my son hurt his back. Uh, he has four herniated discs in his lower back. And um, we didn't know about the patches when that happened. That happened about 12 years ago. And he, uh, Western Medicine put him on oxycodone for his pain and Xanax so he could sleep. And he became drug addicted. And which all too often happens when they prescribe the oxycodone. And my son um, had a baby right after he got hurt and the baby weighed five pounds, 11 ounces, my grandson, Mason. And my son could not lift his own child. Wow. That's hard, isn't it? But I know that was hard for you to watch that, Bob. And it, was just terrible. it was terrible. So anyway, um, my son, my grandson is growing up and my son spent most of uh, eight to or 10 to 12 years in bed. And uh, because he just couldn't get around, he could hardly get in and out of bed. And he was then became drug addicted, as I said. And uh, we found the patches a little over three and a half years ago. And uh, I started using X39 immediately. And I got my son to use it, although he had pretty much given up on everything, sort of like you, Chris. And um, my son, within nine months, his pain level dropped on a one to 10. His pain was a 12 and his pain level dropped in nine months to approximately one to two. And this is after 12 years of suffering. So as life happens, I got a phone call from a lady about the patches and she's not on my team, but she asked me about them and I started to talk to her and I said, may I ask what you do, Sharon? And she says, I'm a pastor. And Sharon, I said, Sharon, I think this is divine intervention. I said, my son needs you. And uh, Sharon counseled my son every day, at least once or twice a day for a year, never once stopping. And um, so my son now, I will tell you, went to about just about 11 months ago. He will goes for an MRI every year and his MRI, the orthopedic surgeon got the MRI from 11 months ago and he got the MRI from two years ago and he brings them to my son and my son, if he were here, he could tell the story, but he's at football practice for my grandson. He's a coach. So anyway, the doctor says to my son, he goes, and my son said, dad, this doctor was so excited. He ran in to tell me, he said, look, and he compared the two MRIs. And he says to my son, he goes, I have never seen this in the history of my practice. And the guy's in his sixties. And my son didn't know what he was talking about. He goes, I have never seen this in the history of my practice. He goes, what are you doing? All four of your discs have healed. They've all healed. He's never seen it in the history of his practice. And my son says, this little patch. And he pulled the X39 off the back of his neck. And the doctor said, he goes, I've never heard of it. I know nothing about it. But I would highly recommend that you never stop wearing that patch. Now, the caveat to the story is my son now my grandson was five pounds, 11 ounces, when born. My son could not lift him. My grandson weighs 80 pounds. My son picks him up and throws him around like a football with no pain. None. Wow, that's a miracle, isn't it? I'm, I know that makes you so happy. And, and he's 16 months sober. No more drugs. So... And I, and I will tell you, he's a changed person. He's new. He's renewed his life. He's a wonderful guy now. So, excuse me. But, no, uh, Bob. Well, no, it's real, it's real life, Bob. It's real life. And I know yeah. when you've struggled with um, someone with an addiction for that many years, and you can see them because they had an injury, and now you can see him, just his life yeah. just um, blossoming. Turned around. He, yeah. Com Completely turned around. I have to give Sharon Diedrich credit for counseling him. But without X39, I don't know if the counseling would have helped. Because when you can't pick up a five-pound, 11-ounce child and it's your own, 
And then you can pick him up at 80 pounds and put him on your shoulders and carry him around and lift him up in the air. It's just unbelievable. And I do have to tell one little story for me, if I could, do I have time? Absolutely. We'd love uh, for you to share. Okay. I'm going to tell my story very quickly. I will tell you guys that I didn't know anything about any of the other patches for two years because I don't pay any attention. I'm a man. So I will tell you what happened is within the first seven to 10 days, I was on X39, my energy level doubled. Now, I have been very low energy since I was a sophomore in high school. So that was phenomenal. Within six to seven weeks, my sleep pattern got dramatically better. I used to sleep for an hour and be up for an hour, sleep for two, be up for three. And between six and seven weeks on X39, somewhere in that neighborhood, I started to sleep six to seven hours straight through. My energy went through the roof. I was waking up looking for stuff to do where I used to just lay in bed. So that was amazing. They found prostate cancer in me 14 years ago. And um, I hope this isn't too much information, but guys, I could not urinate for 12 years at all unless I was on medication. I had to take a little red pill every day to be able to urinate. Twice in that 12 year time period that I was on that pill, I forgot to take it in the morning somehow. And both times I ended up in the emergency room with a catheter. So I'm on the patch about three and a half months. And one day my flow is very strong. And the next day it's very strong again. And I'm thinking, do I dare stop taking this pill to see what happens? But I did. I stopped taking that pill, guys, and I have not had to take that pill for over three, almost three and a half years now. So I'm back to where I was when I was 30. <laughs> and it is a wonderful, wonderful feeling. And I used to get up three to six times to go to the bathroom at night. And now I get up once, which is also a blessing for energy. So that and then the, I've had, uh, Chris, you can relate. I've had seven foot surgeries, five knee surgeries my left knee replaced, my right knee scheduled for replacement. And also I had arthritis in all of my knuckles. I couldn't wear this ring for 10 years because of my knuckles. However, I'm on the patch and this is important. I'm on the patch six months. I get no relief from my foot pain, my knee pain, or the swelling in my hands. Six months. At that point, I thought, okay, it's just not going to help, but I'm okay with that. The seventh month, guys, it was either the second or the third week, don't know which, but I got up out of bed one morning and it was like overnight, no pain, no stiffness, no swelling anywhere in my body, anywhere. And I couldn't get over it. In fact, I didn't even realize that something was different because I got up, went to the bathroom. I came down and sat on the bed to get dressed and I'm thinking something's different. What's different? And it was no pain, no swelling, no stiffness anywhere. This ring that I couldn't get on for 10, 12 years just falls off me now. So it's it's been a miraculous journey. And the last thing I'll tell you about me is I had uh, I was a mailman in Florida for 20 years, Clearwater, Florida, and too uh, stupid to wear sunscreen. And I used, that's when we used to carry a 50 pound bag and we used to walk to every house, right? So for 20 years, I did that. And what happened was I developed precancerous skin tags all over the backs of my arms, my hands, and my fingers. And I finally went to a, a cancer surgeon in Tampa and he said, Bob, if we don't burn those off, he said, when they turn to full blown cancer, you will have less than three years to live. So obviously I had them burned off. There were 206 of them. And how I know that is because it was the worst pain I've ever been through in my life. I had tears running out of the corners of my eyes when he did that. And within two years, guys, after he burned all of them off, they all came back. And I had to have them burned off a second time. Same pain. I, <laughs> the bad part is in two years, they all came back again. And I had them burned off, but I didn't do it because I didn't want to go through that pain. In the interim, somebody introduced me to X39. 
my, our Amy and I have a great friend, Kylie Allen. She introduced us and we started wearing them and I didn't see any relief from the, everything on my, all the skin tags until the 20th, somewhere around 18th to 22nd month. I get out of the shower one day, I'm drying off and I look down and I realized all of those cancerous skin tags were gone, all gone from X39. So anyway, I echo what Chris said. You can be a skeptic all you want, but as David Schmidt said, and the reason I want you to know that things that happened for me seven months later and almost two years later is because David always says, give the patches or wear the patches at least one month for every decade you've been alive to give the body the proper opportunity to heal itself. And sure enough, in seven months, all those years of pain went away. And the second knee that had to be replaced, all the collagen grew back. I don't need that knee replaced. And I used to struggle getting up my stairs. I'm on the second floor of a condo. I used to have to hold the railing, pull myself up one stair at a time. Guys, I am running those stairs for exercise now. The same stairs I can barely walk up. 